hello guys welcome back to the channel today is a <laughs> wonderful day out here but we are expecting a snowstorm with high winds drifting uh, snow and uh, actually blizzard conditions with up to 21 inches of snow that are expected to be dumped here within the next 48 hours so uh, I raised the rear of the Hummer if you guys noticed and uh, let's jump in and uh, stay out of these conditions open that jump into the nice warm cabin I'm still uh, heating everything up and if you look at the height control you can see that it is illuminated uh, sorry about the nasty condition in here I haven't had it detailed yet uh, but yeah that's the conditions we are facing out here right now if you look uh, you can actually see the snow slowly coming down uh, but where you have uh, like uh, roofs and around buildings the snow is slowly packing up uh, the drifts are piling up and that is going to be where most people will have issues uh, most businesses have been closed and uh, people are just staying home and uh, hunkering down so I decided that we should uh, just do a quick video here to talk about using your Hummer H2 in blizzard or similar conditions if you look out there in the distance you can barely see and that is uh, supposed to only get worse as time progresses so uh, the Hummer H2 actually it's a very capable vehicle uh, it has different drive modes as you can see uh, you have the regular all-wheel drive uh, the Hummer is full-time all-wheel drive so just know that and then you have the four high well with the lock locking differential on in the rear and then also four low with the differential locked in the rear so those are some of the conditions in which uh, you can place the Hummer furthermore you have the height control in case you get high centered can press that get some more uh, lift in the body in the back and that might help you get out of a tricky situation so here you have uh, like I said the various drive modes for high uh, which is where you would normally drive the Hummer and then you have uh, the four-wheel drive for low with the differential locked and then there you have uh, the button to lock the differential so there you go and uh, let me jump out here and show you guys a few things so you can see uh, the, f the things to consider if you are trying to drive your Hummer out in uh, very bad weather where traction is not the best is uh, to consider first that the Hummer is a very heavy vehicle so if you have very soft snow that is deep remember that your Hummer could possibly sink in the snow and then you would have a difficult time uh, driving out of that condition most side-by-sides that are meant for fun to take in mud bugs and so on uh, they are very light so they just kind of float on mud and uh, in deep snow whereas the Hummer is a very heavy vehicle and is liable to sink in uh, soft uh, mud or soft snow the other thing you have to think about if you if you are trying to take your Hummer H2 out of uh, trails out of the beaten path is that the Hummer has a big eight-cylinder six-liter engine 
if you were to stay warm let's say you get stuck out in the woods or out on the trail on the trail uh, you will need to keep your engine running and before you know before too long you might be running out of gas that is something you have to consider that's why you see in most parts of the world uh, people prefer vehicles with diesel engines they may not have a lot of horsepower but they have tons of torque and uh, diesels for the most part tend to consume less pound per pound uh, compared to petrol engines or gasoline engines the size of the Hummer also matters uh, you can see how big it is so if you get stuck and somebody has to come uh, help you recover your vehicle and they need to tow you out of a ditch or out of a snowbank then they should have something uh, close to the size and weight of the Hummer in order to be successful in their efforts a light pickup truck or a half ton truck might do the job but uh, due to the size of the Hummer, you might actually need something along the size of a three-quarter ton truck to be able to su successfully pull you out or recover your Hummer. Uh, the Hummer has hitch points both in the front and rear recovery points. There you have a recovery hook, you have the hitch, you have another recovery hook where you can attach uh, a strap or a chain and uh, pull the Hummer in case it gets stuck. Up front you have a recovery point right there, another one right there and here you can actually put a hitch, it's behind the, the tag, you push in the, the hitch and then you drop a pin here to hold it in place. So uh, lots of recovery points. On the H1, on the uh, hood, you had some attachment points here that went all the way down to the frame and when you were dropping the H1 from a helicopter, that is what was used. So yes, you can definitely use the Hummer H2 in uh, bad weather like right now, but I wouldn't venture off in a, on a trail all by myself in this type of weather for the reasons I listed above. Uh, big V8 engine consumes lots of gas, the weight of the Hummer, the size of the Hummer, uh, the fact that you could actually sink in uh, mud or in soft snow and you need a, an equal weight vehicle or larger vehicle to recover your Hummer in case you, you get stuck. So those are some of the things you have to consider in case you want to go on an adventure with a Hummer H2. The latest model, the Hummer EV, also has um, the capability to increase its uh, height. And for the Hummer EV, I think it's the whole body that can be lifted. Whereas for the H2, it's just the rear that is lifted. Uh, the front has a torsion bar. So for the Hummer EV, I'm not sure, but it sounds like it's the whole body that gets lifted uh, a couple of inches for you to clear obstacles. And if you are, uh, if you are, the body of the vehicle is uh, actually touching the ground, then you can lift up the whole body, and then uh, you have just the wheels giving you traction to get out of the sticky situation. So I want to thank you guys once more for joining me on this uh, short video as we prepare to get <laughs> hammered here with up to 21 inches of uh, snow and uh, high wind conditions. I will see you guys at the tail end. Please, if you find our videos entertaining and in interesting, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, that is the best way to help me out. Uh, hit the thumbs up button below and also subscribe to the channel. That will be very much appreciated. Thanks once more for joining me and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.